I'll start off and then the, we'll let everybody else carry on. We're going to show you some innovative new techniques to manage a dislocated lens. If the capsule is intact and a shift is occurred due to inadequate zonal support, the best way is essentially using the, some of the newer techniques. But let me show you. standard method as it has gone on until now. But there is a problem. Sometimes the lens spindles and you are left in the end with the lens running at a horizontal plane rather than lying where you really should. So I thought and I thought and I thought, and how do we solve that problem? So let me show you how I've solved it. This is what I call as the disc dumbbelling technique. It's a double technique, it's a new technique. The best of my knowledge has not been done anywhere in the world before. At least I couldn't find any reference for it. Or any same way.
Dios bendiga A single stop of dissolvable vehicle is usually adequate to solve the problem. So this solves the problem which you have had of spindling. So now the lenses will no longer spindle, they will remain stable. Thank you. Sorry? No, the spindles are used, uh, essentially they're used to support the lens and then needle comes through it. So you give a big space around the side. It is silicone. It is used by plastic surgeons. They call them, you can, but this works easier. And the advantage is this material is, is pure celestic. It's used. It already is in use by plastic surgeons. So it's nothing which uh, we have to do. And uh, you get it in different uh, uh, thicknesses. This thickness of this loop is 0.5 millimeter. I would have preferred quarter, but I couldn't get it. It's as simple as that. But this seems to work well. Sorry? Maybe you need to bring it for the right? Yes, you can. You just hold it a little further away. No, no, not, not that cautery. No, you require a loop cautery. With the, a heat cautery is required. Thermal. By, uh, that, that thing doesn't work. It's freely available at Amazon here. It's, it's, it's one of the cheapest. Yeah. But essentially, the whole thing is, if you, if you see, it is essentially the creation of this, creation of this dumbbell these two little round pots through which the lens passes, which essentially makes all the difference. Because this is where the key of the whole situation lies. If you can do that, then the problem ends there. Because th these attach onto the sides and loop on. So the one problem which you've always had, as I said, is spindling. That spindling problem goes away completely.